Coco coming to you with another video. Uh, it's a good sun. It's a good Monday morning. It was raining this morning, but it's all right now. I'm sitting here and I was tripping out how uh, Sony fans are mad because Sony, um, they, you know, The Last of Us, which was a PlayStation 3 game, got upscaled with, um, got remastered. That's the word I'm looking for. For the PlayStation 4. And they were still selling it for $60. And then they had a price cut of $50 to $50. And the people who had pre-ordered the system still was getting robbed. Well, I got, I'm, I'm going to say this. Uh, you don't have that problem with a Nintendo console. I don't have that problem with the Wii U. If I want to play uh, a Wii game... I don't have to wait for Nintendo to come out with like a, 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 a remastered version of Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 or a remastered version of Skyward Sword or a remastered version of uh, any other Wii game. All I have to do is go and buy the Wii game and stick it into my Wii U and it'll play. And sometimes it, uh, and it will up, and I heard, you know, it will upscale the game. Like Sky was scored, saw it was upscaled when you put it in your Wii U. What I'm trying to say is the importance of backwards compatible. The only reason why, and I know a lot of people will say, well, you know, uh, the only reason why I think that Sony and Microsoft did invest the money to uh, make the PlayStation 4 and Xbox 3, Xbox One backwards compatible with the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 is for them to make a little extra money. Greed is the number one key. You know when you buy, you know this generation of consoles like the Wii U PlayStation 4 and Xbox 360 are many computers. When you uh, buy a brand new computer, it ought to can play anything of the last generation. Like, if you play buy a brand new computer, it's going to play this year's, this generation of games, which is next, okay, okay, aka the next generation of games, but it also should play the older generation of games as well. There is no excuse for any console now that don't play the, net, the last generation of games. It's no excuse at all. The only games that should be remastered, like for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, or original PlayStation 2, or X, the original Xbox games. Or you can put in that count the original PlayStation 1 games. The, uh, the last generation, like, it's like Nintendo is doing now. You take, for instance, for the original Wii. You could play GameCube games on that thing. And they did the same thing with this generation of, uh, the, of, the, Wii, of the Wii U. You could play the Wii games on there. Backwards compatible is very important. And you know, I'm pretty sure when Nintendo's next console come out in about 2017, 2018, 2019, or 20, it's going to be really soon. I, I bet you that you're going to be able to play the Wii U games on there and take your remote, your remote switch, and on the, you can use the, the remotes on that console and your game pad. I, I think Sony and X and Microsoft. That's the reason why the uh, the uh, really the Xbox 360 and and the PlayStation 3 really haven't died yet because you know Broken Games was talking about that he's getting tired of all these cross generation of consoles game on console games because it's making it hard for for the Xbox One in a place in the uh, PlayStation 4 
to, to get the best that they can get out of the games because developers are still want to develop on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation uh, 3. They don't have that problem with the Wii. Nobody's developing for it. Nintendo killed that system they sell by making backwards compatible, uh, making the Wii U backwards compatible. I guarantee you, if the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox um, One was backwards compatible with the um, PlayStation uh, 3 and the Xbox 360, them systems would be about dead now. Developers wouldn't be breaking their necks to develop games for them. And the reason why I think them PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 should have been uh, backwards compatible, you know, with well, PlayStation 4 and uh, the Xbox One should have been backwards compatible with the last generation of console because them games look great. They look awesome now. Like, um, uh, 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 you know, The Last of Us and, uh, and, uh, what's the, uh, um, uh, the game, uh, the, the, you know, the, uh, Grand Theft Auto 5. Them games look awesome. And then when they gonna port them to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, they ain't gonna, you know, you can't really tell the difference. They even having problems telling the difference between The Last of Us and the PlayStation 3 version. The games look, you know, real good. So why not just go on, why not? If the games, the, them, them, the, the next so-called next generation of console, I'm talking about Sony and Microsoft, should have been backwards compatible. And just, you know, upscale the graphics when you put the game into the new console. That's what they should have done. But now you got people have to, probably have to, buy a PlayStation uh, 3 and then they got to buy a PlayStation 4. And really right now a lot of people are saying that the PlayStation 3 is nothing but uh, a dedicated place, uh, Blu-ray player. People are now just using the PlayStation 3 when they, you know, I'm still, I know they're still blind buying games but really it's becoming uh, uh, Blu-ray system, but you take it word for word. The Wii is dead. Only people that still using the Wii are people who got GameCube games, and that's what's keeping it relevant now. Is because people are using it for GameCube games. But everybody has moved on to the Wii U, and I think. Nintendo did the right thing for using backwards compatibility for the Wii U because now you don't have to go and buy a Wii just to play Wii games. All you got to do is go to GameStop or wherever and buy these Wii games and put it right in your machine and it'll play. Very simple, very easy. Instead of you have to buy a 200 and a dollar, the PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360, which is about the same price of a brand new Wii U, to play old games, and then you got to go and buy a PlayStation 4 to play some more games. When and when you could just went and bought the PlayStation 4, should have been backwards compatible with the uh, with the last generation of console, and the same thing with the Xbox One. And I think it's all come down to greed on Microsoft and Sony's part so they, so they can get more money out of both of the consoles. So y'all have a blessed day. And that's the reason why Sony and did this and Microsoft did this because of extra money that they're making by supporting this generation and the last gen. Bye.